Welcome Agile Summit Climbers. Uh, my name is Michał Parkawa and I'm hosting this session with our amazing speaker, Łukasz Szustek. Łukasz is an experienced product development consultant and in this session he will teach us about value-based decisions. Welcome Łukasz. Hey, good to see you. Before we begin, uh, I would like to invite you to also check out other sessions during this summit, like the one with Magda Fiedlid about evidence-based management. Check them out at agileonlinesummit.com. Okay, let's dive in. Lukasz, what problems do value-based decisions solve and how do we get started using them? Mm, funny that you mentioned Magda and uh, evidence-based management. They are uh, cousins, I would say. So if you get interested in, uh, if you found her uh, recording interesting, check this one, one and the other way as well. So if what I say is uh, kind of makes you curious and you want to dive deeper, explore the, uh, the cousin as well. Uh, so in a nutshell, uh, what I'm trying to uh, do is basically separate concerns. So this event is called Agile Online Summit and this Agile thing in time started to mean many different things for many different people, right? We know where it started strictly kind of, you know, coders doing stuff better and then it expanded a lot. And I like to really separate those different concerns because quite often the solutions can be applied separately. And it's also a good engineering practice of separating concerns, right? So value-based decisions is about choosing what we should be doing in the first place. And it's not about the effectiveness or efficiency of doing whatever we do. And what I've noticed and in a hard way too, is that quite often we have kind of the execution part figured out and the machine is, you know, rolling really smoothly, you know, crunching the, uh, the, the code out with good quality, predictability. But what comes into a, a backlog, it's always a mystery or it's often a mystery if the product is not kind of very simple or trivial or at the very, be very beginning stages of, of development. And quite often this is uh, for uh, engineering teams, this is a kind of a mystery world in big companies completely hidden behind the product owner who should be the, you know, funneling all this information. But if you ever sit in those meetings where decisions are taken, quite often people struggle to have kind of uh, good conversations around the trade-offs. And I believe, I'm not a psychologist, but my observation is that more often than not, it comes, those disagreements come from uh, the way that humans communicate. And there are two issues as far as this area is concerned. One is that we human brains tend to communicate in terms of solutions rather than problems or questions. And the other one is that human brains are not really wired for very precise communication. If we were, everybody would be a programmer, right? To, to the computer, you have to explain everything, you know, down to the little detail. And if you, you know, miss by one, you're in trouble. Like so with far. humans. So far. Yeah. That might change soon, right? With AI. That might, but at this moment, it's yeah, still at a, this moment, definitely. it's still a separate profession that you really have to get, you know, all the tabs and semicolons right. right? And with humans, it doesn't work like this. So I'm just telling you stuff, and I don't think uh, there are any alarm bells in your head uh, that ring that you know something's wrong or I don't really understand what this fairy guy is telling. Right? That's how it works. That's how, how it works. So the VBD is meant to ease those, well, not ease, it's not going to be easy, to make this conversation more precise. That would be the kind of a technical explanation what it, uh, what it is. Mm -hmm. And how it is built, it's uh, th the easiest way to introduce it is to start from a definition of a business value. And this is the term that I think almost everyone or everyone probably from our audience is using. And when someone says business value, that the other brain thinks, yeah, yeah, I know what that is, but they are thinking about very, very different things most of the time. 
So the idea is to come up with a precise definition and universal definition of business value, which is a business value of a solution is the impact of this solution on the needs of the stakeholders, right? So the idea is that every kind of everything that we do, or especially what we if we build stuff, has a number of stakeholders. And your users are just the one stakeholder. Uh, your boss could be another stakeholder. Maybe customer is different from the user. And 